FBI Director James Comey's congressional testimony is opening old wounds for Hillary Clinton's former aides. Her former speechwriter Brian Fallon tweeted, Russia probe that Comey confirmed was, as best we can tell, in effect before November 8th. Fair to ask why he didn't think voters deserved to know. He was referring to Comey's confirmation that the Bureau was investigating Trump's ties to Russia. I have been authorized by the Department of Justice to confirm that the FBI, as part of our counterintelligence mission, is investigating the Russian government's efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election. Fallon also complained that Comey did not get approval from the Justice Department before disclosing his reopening of the Clinton investigation. Clinton herself has blamed Comey's public acknowledgement of that reopening for her loss to President Trump. And Fallon wasn't the only one to imply Comey had a double standard. Philippe Reigns was a senior advisor to Clinton. He tweeted, July 16, Comey opens investigation of Trump, nothing public. July 16, Comey closes HRC email, finds nothing, attacks publicly. Annoying. And Clinton's former campaign manager Robbie Mook responded to Comey's reference to McCarthyism with, is there an ism for sending a letter about one candidate but not about the other? Some criticisms were a little more personal. At one point, Comey requested a bathroom break. I'm not made of steel, so I might need to take a quick break. Former Clinton spokesman Josh Schwerin responded to that with a gif from Clinton's Benghazi testimony. 